Hi, in this video we will demonstrate the pressure temperature effects on the ECD profile using oil base, synthetic base, and water based muds in an offshore well. We will repeat this for shallow and deep wells. The well we are working with now has a vertical depth of 7,462 feet. Uh, we're using a 10 pound per gallon oil based mud. So this is the ECD profile for this well. If we want to activate the pressure temperature effect we can hit this button under corrections factor. And as you can see with this case the pressure is more predominant raising the equivalent mud weight, this blue line. If we begin circulating, we'll see how this changes. We can also look at the temperature profile. We first see a drop due to the water temperature, the red, and then we'll see an increase as the well goes into the formations. So let's go back to ECD and begin circulating mud at 500 gallons per minute. And as soon as we start circulating, we can see this uh, this blue line is our equal and mud weight and the red line is the ECD. Uh, right now we've zoomed in to our density we can see between 9.5 and 10.5 pounds per gallon so this is a one pound per gallon window so everything looks uh, pretty amplified but this is so that we can capture the details and how how our values are changing. So if we deactivate pressure temperature correction, we can see that our ECD, bottom hole ECD changes, our equal and mud weight changes. So let's reactivate that. And our ECD, bottom hole ECD goes from 10.43 pounds per gallon to 10.46 pounds per gallon. Now let's change our mud type from oil base to a synthetic based paraffin mud and see how that is affected. So you can, after we hit apply changes, you can immediately see the change. Uh, since our, the pressure is more predominant, we will see how that is affected. 10.46 pounds per gallon, 10.45. Right now we're circulating the mud. We can look at the temperature profile as it's moving. Uh, the the blue line is inside the pipe. The red line is the annulus. The green line is the pipe temperature. And the purple line is the rock temperature. So the section above 2,000 feet is the, is the ocean or the sea. So we have a negative temperature gradient there, which is why our temperature is dropping. And if we switch to a water-based mud, we should also see how that changes things. So let's go ahead, go for a water-based mud. Hit apply. This deactivates our pressure temperature. And we can see that, we can see the profile change here. Now, let's go back to oil-based mud and let's turn off our pumps so everything goes back standard and we have our our pressure temperature correction here you can see that our ECD is 10.02 equal mud weight 10.02 now let's increase our our depth to 15,000 hit apply changes and then move our drill pipe to 15,000 feet. And apply changes. So now we have a deep well and we see that our ECD is 10 pound per gallon. We have no pressure or temperature correction factor applied. So once we activate this, we see the increase and then we can begin circulating and 
you'll see a larger jump. However, keep in mind, we still have to increase our depth. So let's deactivate these again, turn off our, our pumps and readjust the, the depth. So now we're looking at 15,000 feet depth. For, for static conditions, let's go ahead and turn on our pressure temperature correction. So you can see our, uh, up here, the pressure is more dominant, causing the ECD to go up. And then if we go down hole, further down hole, the temperature becomes more dominant and it drops our ECD uh, below the static condition, below what it is at the surface. At the surface, we have a 10 pound per gallon mud, but at bottom hole conditions, we have our ECD is 9.97 pounds per gallon. Our equal mud weight is 9.97 pounds per gallon. So let's go ahead and turn on our pumps and you can see the ECD with the pressure temperature correction active, our ECD is 10.46 pounds per gallon. What happens if we turn off our pressure temperature correction? Our pressure temperature correction causes the ECD to drop. So when we deactivate it, we see the ECD increase. And this is because at deeper wells with HPHD conditions, we see that the temperature becoming the more dominant factor that affects our ECD. Uh, as you know, with higher temperatures, our, uh, the, we have constant mass, however, our volume begins to expand, decreasing the density. With higher pressures, the mass remains constant, the volume decreases, and this leads to an increased, uh, sorry, a, a decreased ECD, a decreased density. So this is what we're seeing here with this deeper well, higher pressure, higher temperature, the temperature being more dominant, it's causing the density to go down. So let's activate that again. And you can see our ECD dropping and the equal mud weight also dropping. So 10.49 ECD, 10 pound per gallon mud, mud density. And our ECD now is 10.47 pounds per gallon and our equivalent mud weight is 9.97. We can track this better by dropping this point here and here at about 7200 feet we can see that the ECD is 10.39 pound per gallon. We can see the equal mud weight is 10.02 and this is where the pressure is more dominant. But as we go down lower, right here, we can see that there is this shift right here where the temperature becomes more dominant. And then from there on, we'll see the temperature dominance. And now we're at the bottom of the hole. Now let's switch to a synthetic based mud. Let's first uh, turn off our pumps and deactivate the pressure temperature correction. We'll do synthetic oil based paraffin again. Let's activate pressure temperature correction you can see this is where the pressure is dominant and this is where the temperature becomes more dominant and reduces the density and the density is 9.99 pound per gallon at the bottom of the hole so let's begin circulating at 500 gallons per minute and you can see that the density is 10.48 we see less less effect of temperature on an Oil base, synthetic oil based mud paraffin type. And let's repeat this for a water based mud. Move the pressure temperature and also the, the, take it back to static conditions and change this to a water based mud. And 
And first, let's activate the pressure temperature. This drops our, our equal mud weight to 9.99 pound per gallon. What happens if we start circulating? Here, again, we see the pressure dominance, and here we see the temperature dominance. Let's circulate at 500 gallons per minute, and we see the ECD go to 10.48. It's 10.49 without the pressure temperature correction, and it's 10.48 pounds per gallon with the pressure temperature correction. Uh, this is important to consider. This is important to consider uh, as we're drilling our well, especially for deep conditions. Uh, when we try to model the ECD profile, we have to consider how this curve and this curve effect, especially if we have our casing shoe here, or if we are dealing with a horizontal or directional well. I hope this video helped you, and if it did, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, or better yet, subscribe to our channel and you'll see my next video. Thank you for watching.